Hello, this is my review of the Low Pro Event Messenger 250 shoulder bag and how I've adapted it to suit my Fujifilm Finepix HS50 EXR bridge camera. When I'm out about, I carried a bag around the back like this and when I need to take a picture quickly, I wanted to bring the bag in front of me, lift up the flap, take the camera out, switch on as I'm doing it, camera strap over my head and remove the lens cap. With this camera, the HS50, from off, I switch on now and in less than a second it's taking the first picture. It's also got a manual zoom so you go from 24mm to 1000mm which is a 40 ta 42 time optical zoom and because it's manual it doesn't drain the battery at all and get easy to get over a thousand pictures on one battery charge. Obviously in between taking pictures I can switch it off because knowing that within less than a second it's back on again. Just put the lens cap back on Put this back in the bag and I'll show you more about the the Low Pro Messenger 250 bag. I'll sit down for this bit. Right, round the back there's a compartment where I'll keep a list of books. I've got over a thousand books and other other things I collect like model vehicles and that. And I'll give it back. You can, if you wanted to, put it in this dedicated up to 13 inch laptop space, which is fully padded both sides protect laptop or a tablet even with wish well, I prefer to actually keep it in the back pocket because when I'm in at a shop it's quite easy for me to just take it out, check, check the time it and put it back in again. Also got this little carrying handle which I very seldom use because I use a strap. It's got a nice padded shoulder adjustable position. That was this side of the bag in this little expandable section I carry me cleaning cloth lens cleaning cloth. It's easy to get to without having a bag. This side another similar one you can get in these pockets you can get a small water bottle and carry a spare carrier bag. Up this flap, on the flap you've got velcro attachments. You can have it fully open so it's really secure. I find that it's quite noisy and with both operating fully it's hard to open it quickly. You can also position these completely shut so it's a silent, called a silent mode, so there's no noise at all. You can just, if you're at a wedding or something, it'd be ideal. I prefer to have it about a third exposed, so when you shut it, it holds the flap nice and flush. It can open easily, but you can still hear the velcro strap if someone does try to open it. No, we haven't got it in front of you. Also at the front, I don't like using this buckle and clip, so I've used double-sided tape just to keep it folded upwards. So with a bag it shows flat, flat, clothes are quite flush. Inside the bag you've got this zip compartment, open it up. In the middle bit I keep, keep the spare batteries, this one's for the Lumix Panasonic TZ20 which I'm filming this video on at the moment and this is a spare battery for the HS50. On this side I keep my spare SD cards. There is a dedicated section here for SD cards but you put anything in there it's so small you can't get them out again. There's also a little pen holder, pencil for that. Right. Inside the bag, as you can see, the HS50 is in there with the other side of the box. Take the camera out. I have it, the camera is actually fitted like that inside the bag because it finds it's easier to grab hold of that. With this index finger, I can switch on, take the lens cap off. I'm ready to take a picture very very quickly. I've tried it that way but with bringing it that way you can't get your hands in quick enough to grab under that to, to pull the camera out in the, in the rush. Also in here is a little box of bits accessories. Right, now the, the camera is out I can show you inside the bag you can see at the bottom there's a long padded section and on top of that is a little short one which supports the lens barrel and this bit is a long upright one and behind that is another short one which just helps make that a bit firmer. Down this side there's another short padded divider which protects the end of the lens and at the bottom here there's another short padded divider at the bottom. They're all velcroed on so you can move them back as you want. It comes a standard with two long ones and three short ones. I've got an extra one which I took out from another camera bag which I didn't require. Put that down that way. Right, 
in this box, it's a box actually from Lakeland, you press the two sides in, it comes off nice and neatly. And inside here, I've got my Polaroid close up filter. In here you've got plus one, plus two, plus four and plus ten. You can have them any combination you want, as you like. You've got filters in packets. Keep them in the packets because they keep the dust off. You can have one, two, three or four on at the same time. But remember, you put the plus ten on, don't put any of the others on front because you'll scratch the lens because the lens sticks out slightly. The easiest thing to do if you want more than one on is always put the lowest number on first, like say plus one and plus ten or plus four and plus ten, put plus four on first and plus ten. You can put the whole lot on at once which gives you a plus 17. Also in this box is my Hoya HD circular polarizing filter. I find it's very useful if you want to take say pictures of a model inside a glass case because a lot of times you get reflections inside a room and you can't get a very good picture. With this you can remove most if not all of the reflections so you get a good picture. Also when you're taking picture through glass, so you're inside taking a picture outside, you can take the reflections off and get a, a better picture on the outside. Also on water, it's good for water because you can actually see what's under the water. It takes all the uh, reflections away. Also in here is my Fujifilm RR80A wired remote. The A stands for this little adapter which is a mini USB to micro USB which you need for the HS50. The previous HS like the 30, 20 and 10 just needed the normal mini USB but the HS50 has got a micro USB. Don't be fooled though because this is a special cable as Fujifilm in their wisdom have decided to wire this differently to all the other adapters. So you just can't go and buy a normal adapter and use it with this because you HS50 will not work. Also in here I've got the JJC JMK 30 meter wireless remote. There's nothing on there but you fit this onto the hot shoe, that's just a bit of plastic. You don't actually need it on the hot shoe, you know, bang it in loose if you've got something else on the hot shoe like a flash. But you just slide it on the hot shoe, plug in the cable, and by using the adapter from the R80 you can connect this to HS50. You can now get this adapter from JJC. It's about six euros, so but you mean you got to have this special adapter. Anything else will not work. Just remember to switch on and with a remote, you're ready to take a picture. I've used it up to sort of 20 feet away with no problem. I can't vouch for any distance. Also in here I've got a little jeweler's loop. So this is a four times one because I've collect old watches about a pound a time to take pictures of. So with this you can check details of the watch. That's very small marks on it. So that is my review of the Low Pro Event Messenger 250 shoulder bag and how I've adapted it to fit my Fujifilm fine picks. I've just got a quick diagram here. You can freeze frame this to show you. This this actually divider is actually closer to the back of the camera. But that shows you how I've done the inside. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope to do some more in the future. This is my very first review. A bit nervous and I think I've done not too bad. I've done, had a lot of tryouts and uh, goodbye for now.